Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this lesson we're going to learn how to create a bar chart with lower and upper bounds. Bar and column charts are very useful when it comes to comparison. In this worksheet I have the sales of three products, soft drinks, cosmetics, and food products. Also the table has two more columns, lower limit and upper limit sales, a target that's been set by the company. We want to compare the sales of a product with lower and upper boundary defined by specific criteria. So let's get started. Select the data and insert a clustered column chart. Move the chart below the table. Click the switch row to column button. So we have this chart with three columns. The blue column is sales, the orange is lower limit, and the columns with the gray color is the upper limit. We want the sales to remain as columns, and the lower and upper bounds to be shown as markers and not columns. To do that, right click on either one of them and choose Change Series Chart Type. From this dialog box, we can easily change the chart type. Select lines with markers for the lower and upper limits and press OK. We don't want any connecting line for the upper and lower boundaries. So let's select this upper limit line. Right click, format data series, fill and line bucket, and click no line. Do the same for the lower limit line. So we have lower and upper boundary indicated by dots. It's better to change the marker style. From the Format Data Series pane, Marker Options, there are some built-in markers, but I would prefer to use custom shapes. The first step is to insert a down and an up arrow from the Insert tab, Illustrations and Shapes. Select the upper arrow. and place it somewhere here. Now insert the down arrow. Change the color to green and red respectively. Let's resize them to be reasonably small. Now copy the up arrow and paste it to the upper limit shape. Then copy the down arrow and paste it to the lower limit shape. With this trick you can instantly change the marker symbol to anything you want. Our chart is ready. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye!